What's up guys, Crane here from Logic Lounge Gaming. We are back in Grand Theft Auto V. We're looking at the brand new Valentine's Day Massacre Pact. This pack is something new for you guys uh, playing GTA V during this holiday weekend. Uh, the I believe it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I believe even Monday too, you can pick up this Massacre Pack. It comes with different things, including a, a new gun, some new clothing, and some new uh, playlist missions. We're going to look at all of that inside of this video as this week's Let's Play. So uh, let's go take a look right now. We're getting in my uh, kind of Camaro lookalike. I call it my Camaro at least, but you can call it whatever car you want or whatever the in-game name of it is called. But we're going to be taking a look at uh, all of the new Valentine's Day Massacre things because they did uh, bring in a, a lot more than just, uh, you know, putting in some fun things, uh, and we want to take a look at all of that. So right now we're heading off to, uh, I believe, the gun store. We're going to take a look at this new gun. Uh, what uh, Grand Theft Auto and Rockstar have decided to do with uh, Valentine's Day is kind of go more of a uh, back in time look at it definitely during the olden times of uh you know when cars were just around uh, and we'll see that evidence in a couple places including the gun the cars that you can get and of course uh, the missions as well so as we're heading off here to the gun store uh, i'll talk a little bit about what this gun uh, might be used for this gun is a more of an assault rifle sort of gun so you're going to get uh you know nice amount of bullets per second but uh it's not going to be as accurate so it's kind of in the machine gunny to assault rifle area and you can see it's right there it's called the gusenberg sweeper it kind of looks like one of those old guns from you know bonnie and clyde or whatever with a big uh tin of bullets that will spin around as you shoot uh, that's what the gun looks like i've already bought it i believe it's a it's like 12 or seventeen thousand uh, dollars i think it's a pretty expensive gun uh but of course you can get ammo extended clips stuff like that uh and it comes under your uh micro SMG for some reason it's not really a micro nor an SMG but that's where they decided to put it for this one we'll take a, a quick look at this gun and see uh, kind of what it looks like up close well as close as I can get it so you can see this gun um, you know it looks pretty cool right but our attire isn't exactly uh, what we should be looking for uh, with this gun no no we need the proper attire to use this gun so we're heading off to the uh, clothes store which should be right down the street here uh, and we'll take a look at what type of new clothes that they have uh, these new clothes i believe once you buy them you're they're yours to keep but if you end up missing it during this weekend special well you won't be able to get it uh, as soon as it's gone so be sure to go pick up some new clothes while you're at it so let's head inside here wherever we are this store and uh let's take a look at everything there's uh pants suits uh shoes uh what else is there there's a lot of stuff uh, i think we're going to start off with our pants right now i believe it's under suit pants and you can kind of see it because they're pinstriped uh you can get a navy uh charcoal brown or i believe black as well is black part of it maybe it's part of it nope it's not part of it just uh navy charcoal and brown uh i'm gonna go for the navy because uh, why not so uh we got the navy suit pants here let's go ahead uh we can look kind of weird because we got some nice pants on but now we need a shirt to match so let's go ahead and look at shirts maybe if i can find where the shirts are where are they they're probably gonna be over here there they are Browse my tops. So uh, we got suit jackets here. We got a classic ivory suit, maybe a navy pinstripe suit if you're at it, uh, charcoal pinstripe suit, or the brown one. Uh, you can kind of see that the blue one kind of goes with my attire and uh, what it looks like. So I think we're going to end up going for the navy pinstripe double suit. That one right there looks kind of nifty, right? Well, uh, we also need an undershirt as well. And I'm not sure this is part of the pack, but uh, I found that this uh, shirt works well. Actually, nope, not the vests. Come on, where's the shirts? There we go. Uh, we got a nice shirt here. I believe I chose a white one. There we go. Looks more, you know, natural, right? The white with the blue. Yeah? Okay, good. Well, that's what I'm going to be using. Uh, and then, of course, we need some shoes, maybe. Uh, I think that would be uh, something that we want to get so... Let's find some shoes. There we go. Clothing. And ba -ba -ba -ba. we want black tie. Yeah, I think a black tie will work. And there we go. We're good to go. All right. 
So now we should be good, right? Yep, no watches. They really didn't have watches back then. I guess they had pocket watches. So uh, we'll just leave it like that. But we do need some shoes. Still coming back to those shoes, right? Uh, we need some good looking shoes. So let's head over to our shoes now and look what they have to offer. Uh, they have some very nice uh, under smart shoes, some black toe Oxfords, or look at that, maybe white toe Oxfords, spats. I think we're going for the spats. Spats look kind of cool. So uh, there you go. Look at that. We're all dressed up now, ready to go. Um, after this, let's go take a look at uh, cars. Let's see what we can get uh, in the way of cars when it comes to uh, what they have for this Valentine's Day special. And as you can kind of see, we've got a theme going here. Like I said before, it's that kind of old timey theme. So what are we going to do with that? Well, of course, they're going to have a car available for sale under travel and transport. And I believe it's, is it Legendary Motorsport? I think it's Legendary Motorsport. Yep, there it is right there. Part of the Valentine's Day Massacre special. You have this kind of old-timey Roosevelt. It is a limousine-type car. It's an armored limousine. Not very fast, but it does look pretty cool. Fortunately, I don't have $75,000 or $7,500,000 to own it. So, of course, I'm not going to buy it. But it's in there for those of you who may have been saving up your money, saved up that half-million stimulus package. Get yourself something nice maybe get a car like that uh, of course you can pimp it out as well uh, i believe you can pimp it out as well but uh, without further ado uh, let's go take a look at some of the new playlists that they have to offer they actually do have a rock star playlist for this uh, event and it's uh, under your playlists under rock star playlists and i believe it is romance is dead i think that's the one uh, that we want uh, right there. Romance is dead. It has uh, all five of the brand new uh, maps. So that should be some pretty fun stuff, right? Well, let's see. Coming in now on the uh, maps here, get some people in here. Well, at least attempting to get some people in here. Sorry, I took a drink of there. Um, you know, because I'm, I'm just doing this. It's pretty late at night, too, when I uh, am recording this, so I'm not sure many people will be on. Let's get at least three people in here. Or two. Who knows? I invited everybody from the uh, session that I was in, so maybe they were up wherever they were in the world uh, and uh, see what happens uh, there. So go ahead and wait for somebody to join. Maybe. Yep, there we go. We got one more. Good, 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 good. We'll wait for him to join now. Uh, this first one that we're doing is called Love Struck. Uh, that is a water racing motorboat one uh, where you just say apparently uh, a good motorboating is always wants for Valentine's Day. Take your lover for a trip around the buoys and over jumps in the North Mount Gordo. Lap race for watercraft best at sunrise. Uh, let's see what we got here. Let's take the speeder out. The speeder looks kind of cool. Maybe in a nice ice white that looks nice. Or maybe the black. Is there a black? Oh, the black looks better. Okay, let's continue on. And we're ready to play. Didn't really want to bet. Not a, I'm not a betting type man. So here we go. Water race. Let's see what everybody else picked. That guy picked that default boat. And what did the guy to our right pick? I forgot. I didn't see. Did he pick a jet ski? He might have picked a jet ski. Well, let's see how well I will lose. Because, you know, I'm not the best of these games, but, you know, I'll usually lose. Yep, that guy got a jet ski, so he's probably going to pass us up. Maybe. All right. Oh, going to run him over. <laughs> I'm just going to run him over. How about that? All right. Do, 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 do. Yes, this is very romantic. Splashing through the waves. If you've been on a boat going very fast and going over the waves, it is not a fun ride even for the most cushioned of seats. So I can't believe how in all possibilities they could say this is something you would want to take your lover on. Please, I'm playing this game and I can even hurt. And I'm not even in the boat. All right. Well, we're taking a right-hand turn now. Seems just like a simple obstacle course, really. I mean, it is part of the, you know, special for Valentine's Day, but it doesn't mean it has to be, you know, special. It just has to be named for Valentine's Day, I guess. Well, anyways... Those guys are really far behind me. Jeez. How many laps do I have to do? I got to do like two or three laps. Oh boy. This is going to be uh, fun, fun, fun. Maybe I'll slow down a little bit here. 
Yeah, screw it. They're going to be far behind. I'm winning. I'm winning. And up and over the jump. Splash. See, they're super far behind there. These guys suck. And that other guy's at, what is it, level 96, and I'm beating him? Woohoo! All right, left turn. Oh, don't hit the buoy. Don't hit the buoy. Don't hit the buoy. Awesome. And around the corner once again. Coming around for lap number two. Ooh. Only a minute and 45 seconds in, and I'm still winning. Since I was since the beginning. Yay, new fastest lap. One minute, 51 seconds. All right, this might take a little bit, I guess, then, uh, if it's going to be like this with people taking their sweet, sweet time to uh, catch up. So I'm just going to, you know, take it easy. Why not? Well, cruise around and enjoy everything. Whoa, that was a big, big jump. All right, continue on here. Let's see what else we have. You know, Valentine's Day is one of those days that has, for me, turned into more of a, a corporate uh, holiday than anything else. I mean, Valentine's Day, great, you take your, your, you know, your special significant other out somewhere. But, you know, what do you do? You get them a card. You get them chocolates. You get them roses. All made by what? Corporations. Who boosts up their prices during all this time? corporations so you're paying a huge premium to take somebody out on a day that should be special and you know kind of you know given to you whoa oops 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 oops, oops. Back, up, back up back up back up back up well anyways there's my little rant <laughs> i saw that a little bit around and i kind of agreed with some of the opinions out there uh on valentine's day i still think it's a special day and i don't think you know you should get rid of it but i think it you know should be um something more cherished rather than corporate uh, you know, exploiting the holiday, like the most famous corporate exploited holiday, Christmas. Anyways, enjoy your Valentine's Day. Well, I guess this video is going to come out tomorrow, so uh, enjoy your day after Valentine's Day. But I still hope it was fun. There we go. All right, coming up here, uh, getting closing to winning, close to win. Don't screw this up. Don't screw this up. Don't screw this up. Don't screw it up. Don't screw it up. Ah! Yeah. I won. I won. I won. I won. I won. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. You finished first. With a whopping 3 minutes and 51 seconds. 15 JP points. $9,000. And uh, 1,500 uh, credits. Pretty, pretty good in my nice blue pinstrap suit. Let's see if I can continue on my winning streak by seeing what we have next. Uh, Cause this is, this is a playlist that so we're going to, we're going to play through the whole playlist here. Shouldn't take us mm, too long. Maybe uh, we'll see if it does take too long. We'll uh, split it up into two parts and you'll obviously be able to see if it's in two parts because uh, you know, the title of this video would say part one and the next one would say part two. Oh, excuse me, it's a little bit late here. I'm yawning. I uh, guess what? I'm probably making you yawn too because you heard me yawn. Well, let's see where we're off to now. What's next in our love struck playlist? Do, 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 do. What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? Ooh, that little corner alley. We're playing Deathmatch Property Value. Forget about love. Nothing is going to break your heart like the price of real estate. Free for all Deathmatch on an unaffordable Clue de Sac near Minner Mirror Park. Uh, look cut for sniper. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, cool. It's only three people. Shouldn't be too hard, right? Well, I guess I've been wrong in the past. We'll see. Bum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Still inviting some more people. Maybe we can get some fun out of this. Or not. Depends what we're gonna do. Bum -ba -dum -ba -dum. I like how GTA, you know, is having fun with this. You know, creating special packs. Uh, although I wish they would squash some bigger bugs throughout the game. You know, I think it's still fun, and, um, you know, they're providing these for free, so why not get them? Not costing anything out of your pocket at all. 
uh, just, you know, just the game itself. Still haven't seen a PC version yet. I've seen a lot of rumors for PC versions, but I have not seen anything indicating that uh, they want to put in a PC version. Or if it's even going to be good. I mean, because we all we have are some like loose, loose rumors, and that's about it. So uh, I'm not too worried about you know a PC version. Definitely might like to have it. I like to see uh, what type of mods that they usually come out with uh, with these PC type games. Especially I liked what they did with uh, Grand Theft Auto 4. Uh, when we played Grand Theft Auto 4 last, I was playing a mod called LCPDFR, which was a great modification because it kind of let you take the uh, reins as a cop and uh, start pulling people over, you know, having some fun. And I liked all of that. Uh, and so I really wish we could continue that in GTA 5, maybe once the PC version comes out. Um, and see what they have to do with that. Uh, definitely would be a lot, lot better. But uh, as you can see here, I'm dying. And I, as you guys can see, I'm trying to get in the cars. And uh, if you want to know why, I don't know if you guys had saw there, at the beginning of the mission, it had said, uh, run somebody over and get, you know, I think it was a double bonus points or whatever. So we're going to try some run people over. Not sure how it's going to work. Right now, doesn't seem to be working out too well. Nope, nope. Nope, 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 nope. Ah. So, yeah. So we're just going to try to keep doing this until uh, we can't do it anymore, which will be a couple minutes from now. Was it eight minutes remaining? Or was it eight minutes or ten kills? No. Yes, maybe. Yes, eight minutes or ten kills. We'll see which one happens first. Most likely they're just going to kill me a whole bunch, but we will see. Uh, like I was saying, LCPDFR, great modification for GTA 5, or don't no, GTA 4, excuse me. Uh, would love to see something similar in GTA 5 as soon as it comes out on the PC edition. Uh, I would say if we were to see a PC edition of this game, by now, we would see it by summer. I would say possibly summer is when we're going to see uh, some sort of that game. Uh, and, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw something like, oh, we got stuck up on, uh, you know, using the game's graphics properly or, uh, you know, allocating CPU. I would really wonder, you know, how long it would really take uh, for everything to work properly. We'll have to see. I mean, it's it's LCPDFR, it's GTA V. Uh, we'll see if LCPDFR has plans to start developing for GTA 5 or, uh, you know, GTA 5 builds that feature in somehow, because I know there's a lot of things that people liked in playlists from past GTA 5, especially GTA 4, that I think people would love in GTA 5. One of the biggest ones, I think, is is it Cops and Robbers, I think it is. Uh, that was an excellent, excellent, excellent game type from uh, the Grand Theft Auto 4 series, but it's not back in GTA 5, really. So uh, I would definitely love to see something uh, from GTA 5 in the sense of uh, look at me, basically. Uh, so we'll see. Um, you know, Rockstar definitely has a lot of money put in this game. They've made a lot of money in this game. Would it take them about five years to make this game? I think it was five years. That is a very long time to make a game. And uh, within their first week, they sold, what, a million copies? No. Million dollars. No. Uh, what did they do? I forgot. It was like a billion dollars something. They beat tons of records for uh, the amount of games sold, which was pretty much incredible for me. Uh, and I'd like to see, you know, what would happen there. Now, of all games, though, uh, they all have their limitations, but you know, I think a PC version would be pretty sweet and you guys can either agree or disagree with me. Uh, you know, I, I do play the Xbox 360. I do play the Xbox one. I think they have some pretty fantastic games. Excuse me while I yawn again. Uh, they have some pretty fantastic games, but you know, I'm still not, uh, all the way there with, uh, becoming a full xbox game player i still like to play a lot of games on 
uh, my desktop just because it's so powerful and it was kind of built like a gaming machine, also video editing machine, don't worry, uh, that, uh, you know, I, I, I am really sad to see that uh, we aren't, you know, having a lot more people over on the PC side because I know how great it is for building your own computer and playing games on it, but I also love the sense of playing on a console and playing on the exclusive games for the console as well uh you know and some people are very passionate about that some people are kind of like cool you like this i like that we'll leave it at that i'm one of those people you like pc fantastic you like only the xbox fantastic you like only the ps4 fantastic you like the wii why the heck do you like a Wii? No, just kidding. <laughs> you, you, you can see my drift there. Uh, and so I'm just kind of flabbergasted at how extreme some people can get with uh, that. So uh, we'll see. I, on the other hand, am still trying to uh, kill these guys with the car. Not working out as well as I thought I would. Uh, I thought it would work out a whole bunch better. But uh, yeah, I just keep dying. So we're going to try to stop that right now. Or attempt to, maybe. Maybe I can sneak around and sneak up on somebody. Um, we'll see how well that goes. Uh, but, you know, like I said, uh, it's all a matter of choice and opinion. Uh, what did I see today? I saw Trevor from GTA 5 rendered in the G... No, rendered in the uh, Source Engine. He looks so human-like. It's incredible. Uh, you know, it's something that you might want to go uh, Google search. Uh, go Google search uh, Trevor in, uh, uh, you know, Source Engine, and it would maybe look kind of cool. Finished second, doing a little bit worse, but I got 3,800 bucks and 240 RP points, so I'm not complaining at all. Let's see what's next. Bum ba da ba da. Yes, I win. Bump it up. What else do we have? Bump it up. Yes, no, maybe so. I don't know. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Let's see. What is our next map? Our next map is Bike Race Heartbreaker. Heartbreaker. It's a heartbreaker. Sorry. I know I can't sing. I should probably stop. But looks like uh, this one, it's a bike race. I'm not so good on bikes. I always seem to fall off at random places or, you know, just die trying to drive bikes. So maybe I will really suck at this and people will start to catch up. But I'm doing pretty good. I've got enough of a lead right now where I'm not too worried because I know, you know, these people seeing them race thus far, probably doing pretty good here. So we'll see. Still trying to invite more people. Nobody wants to join. It is pretty late at night, though, so I'm not offended. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Let's see. Ready to play. Uh, let's go. Let's go. It's me. Mario. Beep, 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 beep. All right. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. Woohoo! Oh, well. Three, two, one, go! Oh, a toasted hanger. Do, 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 do. Let's see. I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. Up and over the mountain. Don't crash, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. Oh, landed it. Awesome. Don't crash. Still landed it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Doing pretty good here. Okay. Got that one, and now we're moving on to uh, this one. Eh, I'm not doing pretty good, and uh, those guys are pretty far behind me, so no real competition. I swear, they're they're doing too easy on me. They're giving it to me too easy. 
I need more of a challenge. More. I need more. But we're still off at the, to the races. How many laps do I have to do? Two? I think I have to do two. So we'll continue with two laps here. Ran the corner, ran the corner, ran the corner. And up. New fastest lap of one minute, six seconds. Woohoo! Alrighty. Yep. Looks like we just got two laps. So just keep it up and uh, we're going to probably get first place here. As long as I don't screw it up. Which uh, shouldn't be that hard, I don't think. Because uh, screwing it up is not my nature, of course. Even though I hate video games and I'm not very good at them. Let's see. Whee! Boof. Don't spin out, don't spin out, don't spin out. And up and over. Yay! I might be pretty good at this. Alright, we're going to do it right here. And we're going to go up in the mountain. And let's see. Do, 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 do. Yay! I'm going to win, I'm going to win, I'm going to win, I'm going to win, I'm going to win. One more time. Woohoo! I win. Suck it! You finished first. How many JP points did I get? 15, of course. How much cash did I get? 3,100 bucks. Not bad. And uh, 1,300 uh, credit points. Not bad at all. But winner, winner, chicken dinner. Let's see what else we have coming up here. Let's see. We have, do, 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 yes, I know what the playlist is. Let's just continue here. Bum, ba, da. <sighs> slow. GTA 5 is being so slow. <sighs> Ooh. Okay, I should probably stop that now. But it is. See, look at that. It's being so slow. This is the last map? No, I've got two more. Two more, two more, two more. We'll see what two more has to offer for us. What do you have to offer? Come on. Oh my god. Okay. I just thought it froze up for a second. I was like, no. I'd have to do this video all over again. Yeah. All right. So now, four or five or three or five? Should be four or five. Bump. Bump. Badoosh. All right. We are playing LTS Rockford Hills LTS. That's two LTSs. What is an LTS again? Large Terminal Simulator. Longitudinal Tax Service. Uh, large Team Snipers? I forget. All right. Well, no bet on myself, but I'm going to take a drink of water, so be one second. Ah. Getting down, uh, you know, getting a little bit of a dry mouth there. All right, let's see what we have here. Team one. Got two guys on my team. All right. Giggity, giggity, giggity. All right. Actually, a girl who seemed to be in her underwear. Fantastic. Okay. Last team standing. There you go. LTS, last team standing. Got some motorcycles behind us, but uh, I think we'll go on foot today. So you just need to get really over this ledge. And then as soon as we get over the ledge, we can probably find him. Wherever he is. He seems to be down here south. We can actually see him right there. Uh, ooh, there's a shotgun. I want the shotgun. Give me the shotgun. Where's the shotgun? Oh, it's probably down here. There it is. Ugh, shotgun is mine. Cool, cool, ka -choo. Now let's go stink up on this guy. Okay, can't jump the ledge. And let's not go through the garage door. And out this door. Whoops. I thought that was a road. Okay. There he is. He's going to be over in there. We'll see. Whoa. Oh. Jeez. Was that my guy or 
that guy. Who's that guy? Nope. Can't jump it. Can't see him. Stupid. I could make that. Stupid. Their jump system needs a little bit of work, doesn't it? All right. Let's come around here. Do -do -do -do. And we'll probably get him. We'll probably intercept him, right? Oh, now he's behind us. But he can't really get out, it doesn't look like. He has to kind of go around. Yeah, he has to go around. So uh, we're not going to kill each other, but we're going to be uh, pretty close to. Let's see. Maybe I can crawl up over here. Oh, I can crawl up here. And I can crawl up here. Yay! Where is he? There he is. Oh, shh. There he is. Die. Yeah! Last team standing. On last team standing, of course. That was a quick round. I wonder if I got a lot up from that. 16 JP points this time. 1,700 bucks and 342 RP points. Not bad at all. But it is winner, winner, chicken dinner. And we're off to our, it looks like, last, last uh, episode. So let's see what we're going to be doing on this playlist. Maybe. If it loads, it still needs to load. Stupid internet, hurry it up. There we go. Maybe, yep, there we go. All right, land race. Another race. Rockstar seems to love the races. You know, as much as I like cars, and as much as GTA Five is about cars, I don't drive in the cars in this game. I really don't. There's only a special few that I like, and it's only because I modify them, change their paint scheme, or whatever. I can't just take a car off the street anymore. It's not fun. Plus, the AI seem to always contact the police no matter what, even if you kill them. If you kill them and steal their car, somehow they will call you from the grave and say, Hey, I'm calling the cops on you, and then a bajillion cops will come and find you. Well, let's see here. You can see I picked out that car that is for sale, so we'll be able to see how it drives. Uh, you know, like I said before, don't worry. It's a slow, slow car. So probably not going to win this one. But I did get the boost, so I got ahead of everybody else. I really do like the look of this car. I like that old, old car look rather than the newer cars look. But that's my personal opinion here. Uh, so we're going to try to get around without killing people and without crashing. I still want to finish at least second. I think if I finish second, uh, we should be okay. Uh, and I won't be uh, penalized for, uh, you know, not playing. So we were on this corner. That guy is pretty far in front of me. So we've got to kind of make up for lost time now. Hopefully he'll crash. <laughs> Yay. Crash, 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 crash. All right. Uh, one more and then the left. So AC and whoever else. Bum -ba -da -ba -da. To the right. To the left. And go. Ooh, concentrate, 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 go, 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 go. Oh, no! No! No, 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 no! Go, stupid car, go! I can't get last place, I can't get it. I think that's that's my decision-making uh, point of value. I think if I get uh, one more uh, win, I win. I think if I get a lose, I, uh, well, lose. So we can't tie. But, looks like... Uh, past the guy, maybe. No. Oh, yeah, past the guy. Awesome. Now I just need to catch up with this guy. Rip, 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 rip. Do, 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 do. Getting closer, getting closer, getting closer, getting closer. Bump, ba da, ba da, ba da. What are we at? Lap three now? I think we're at lap two or three. Last lap. Ba -ba -da, ba -ba -da. I am driving an old timey car. Oh, if you guys have the PC or the Xbox 360, I would definitely recommend uh, LA Noir to all of you guys. LA Noir. 
fantastic game. Uh, but without further ado, I think I'm going to come in second place, it looks like. Uh, might look like I might lap the guy, because that guy is pretty far behind. I, best, I guess he missed a, a checkpoint, maybe. Let's see. Kind of captured up on the guy in front of me, though, so maybe we won't be too bad now. Let's see. I think we're coming up on our final here. Yep, there we go. He just finished. I just finished in second place. Looks like that other guy's gonna get a DNF. It looks like he's way too far behind to finish. Let's see. Three minutes, 2100 bucks, and almost a thousand points. Not bad at all. I am not the winner winner chicken dinner, but congratulations to whoever did that. That, my friends, are the new maps, the new car, and of course the new gun and the new clothes in the GT5 Valentine's Day Massacre pack. Go pick it up this weekend for yourself. It's completely free. Uh, it also came along with a title update. There was a title update uh, to it, so uh, you might want to check that out as well. But uh, there you guys go. That is the Valentine's Day Massacre Pack, something that I would definitely recommend for you guys just because it was so much fun. Uh, without further ado, guys, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the gaming channel. Spread it with your friends. Leave us suggestions of what games you guys want to see down in the comment section below. We might pick some up and do some Let's Plays in them as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Creighton Miller, and I will see you guys in our next video.